Hello again. This is the Water Man. Uh, spiritual Toolbox number 117. The Love Chapter number 93. Audio recording number 435. And examination table number 97. And I'll be continuing in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 9. Okay, um, says, uh, the King James Version says in verse 9 of chapter 13, uh, 1 Corinthians is, we know, or uh, we, um, because we know in part and we prophesy in part, okay? Now, we covered, it's, it goes, starts, uh, we're down to four, okay? It started out uh, 1537-ek, then Maros, M-E-R-O-S, and then now we're into that Gar, and they translate that as four, it's 1063, it's this word. Make sure it's turned up, okay, uh, right here, this word. Strong's G, 1063. Gar, Gar. Okay, um, it's a conjunction. It's a primary particle. It could be just because. Okay. Let's see. Um, a particle as a part of speech in language is a word that does not change its form through inflection or does not fit easily into an established system of parts of speech. Okay. Um, it's a primary particle. Okay. It doesn't change its inflection or let's see what it says. Or does not fit easily into an established uh, system of parts of speech, okay? Uh, it means for to assign the reason used in an argument, explanation, or uh, intensification, okay? Um, in the Thayer's exhaustive, uh, Thayer's Greek lexicon, it means a particle of affirmation or conclusion. It means truly, thus, Therefore, this is a fact. Or that's a fact, Jack. Okay, <laughs> it's 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 because, and this is the fact that backs it up. Okay, okay. So on this is uh, this four because is it's like this is a fact, Jack. Okay, <laughs> uh, in part because or because of this fact. Okay. Okay, next word, that's, you know, it's a fact. It's part of an argument thing. Um, this is a because, is we know. And that comes from G-I-N-O-S-K-O 1097, this word. It's Gnosko. Oh, wow. Well, there we go. Gnosko. Gnosko. Actually, let's, before I get to that next word that, that they translate Gnosko, as we know, on this other one, on that four, because it, it's a, it, it's a, this is a fact, Jack, it's an argument, it's because, and this is a fact, Jack, it's like, um, whenever God's asking, uh, you, do you agree or disagree with me, and you're, and he's showing proof, and this is the, a fact, Jack, he's looking for, the only way you can get a, uh, increase in him to agree positively, and, and it was a strong affirmation, would be like this word, amen, okay? Like in 
let me take you somewhere and show you just a little bit about this amen. Well, that's awesome. Just, you know, everybody about knows the amen, okay? So, yes, sir, I agree. So, be it. I'll, I'll show you. Let's back up here just a minute. Take you there real quick. Let's go to Jesus' prayer, okay? In uh, Matthew chapter 6. Let's see. Um, Okay. Okay. Let's read uh, verse. Well, it's it's all down through here, but at the end of the chair, uh, at the end of the 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 uh, prayer, he says, "Amen." Let's say. Let me find it. Yeah, in. Uh, Verse 13 of chapter 6 of Matthew. It says, And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. In the King James, forever and ever. Okay. it uh, well, and, the, and the glory forever. Okay. Amen. Okay. Let's go in that verse 13. I'm not going to read that whole prayer. Everybody's about, well, probably about heard that prayer over and over and over and over. All right. Read it for yourself. It's a few. It's earlier in that, in that uh, chapter six, Matthew chapter six, and it ends right there in verse thirteen. Okay, and the very end of it, it says, "Amen." Okay, at the the very last word in that, "Amen." And get down here. It comes from two hundred eighty one, A M E N, and it comes from the word. A M E N. <laughs> Strong's G two eighty one. Amen. 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 Is how they pronounce it in the blue letter. Okay. Now two eighty one. It's a particle is the indeclinable. It's from the Hebrew origin. It originates from the Hebrew five forty three. Okay, we'll get to that here in just a minute. <clears throat> Uh, okay. All right. Uh, in the Strong's Exhaustive Concordance, it says it means firm. The amen means firm, trustworthy, so be it. It's a yes, sir, as I like to think of it. Yes, sir, Father. You're in hot pursuit, okay? Strong affirmation. And uh, in the Thayer's is to be firm, surely, of a truth, most assuredly, so be it, may it be fulfilled. You're agreeing. It's like having a contract and signing it on the dotted line. You know, you hear a prayer and stuff, and then you're saying, amen. What you're doing, you're agreeing. May this be satisfied. May this, yes, this is true. And when you come into these eyes of the storm of all these pressures and you're green in hot pursuit with God, in agreement with God, may this be satisfied. Turn from that other crap. Yes, you're right, Father. You're signing, like signing that contract on the dotted line. Yes, sir, Father God. Amen. <coughs> Increase me. <coughs> like a covenant. You know, cut the flesh and walk, live, exist right between it. Right in between that two flesh, that think that fleshy thinking, my stinking thinking, <laughs> chop that stuff out, melt it off, skim it off, throw it in the, in the sewer system on the sides and walk down the pathway, that narrowing pathway, that tunnel. It's funneling down. Getting narrower and narrower. It's a pressure. Finer walk. But you're walking in Christ. Just like that sign was up and down, up and down. And then I'll throw that stuff off, man, and walk in that pipeline. It's getting narrower and narrower. He's channeling you right down in there. You're agreeing. Amen. Amen, amen, amen. I agree. What's my answer to God? Amen. I agree. Yes, sir. So be it. 
Let's do it. Let's get it. I don't want that stinking thinking in me no more. Get it out. All right? Lymphatic. In hot pursuit. Okay? Now. <clears throat> yeah, it's like acknowledge God is true. God is right. And all this nasty stinking thinking of mine, or nasty stinking thinking I was thinking, but your own right mind to this, which is filthy stinking rags, bullshit. That's worthless and detestable. Throw that stuff, throw that tear off those, that old golden chain that's tarnished, that plaque, throw that crap in the trash. It ain't no good. Stuff you thought was right, it ain't right. If it don't line up with God's way of thinking, it's wrong, wrong, wrong. Crap! Ew. I don't want that. That's not my authority. My might, my power is not right. It's only right when it lines up with God. Not my will, but yours. Oh, Lord! Right? Not my will be done, but your will. Father, let this cup pass from me. You know what Jesus said? But nevertheless, not my will, but your will be done. If it don't line up with you, don't line up with your right mindedness. I don't want that. Repent. Change from that. Go right back to you. Right? You have that attitude of amen. I agree. So be it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Okay. Now, <clears throat> saying that, just like whenever I um, take in my life, okay? Uh, I woke up after uh, uh, being in a coma for 12 weeks. Being, being unconscious. And just broken everywhere from head to toe. Brain, lung collapse, ribs, never, collarbone, everything crushed and broke. My hand, tendons, oh my goodness, every, my labor stuff. Hip replacements, rods down both legs, through both knees, mesh, wire mesh in my kneecap, my ankle just killing me, having a bolt in it. The nerve messed up, the, uh, fit, uh, um, all oh, that. Oh, I just forgot the main artery in your legs. It was cut in my left thigh and down in my right leg somewhere. I bled out three and a half times my total blood quantity before they could get it stopped. This goes on and on and on and on and on and on and on, 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 on breaking all this stuff. My jaws out of everything. Stuff I didn't even didn't even take care of. Because it wasn't life threatening. There was all kinds of broken stuff all over my body. Cuts and gouges, big old gouges taken out of my chest and every, all kinds of stuff. Broke it. I woke up and uh, I've been unconscious all the time. But oh, I was excited. I couldn't do nothing, I couldn't sit up in bed by myself, I couldn't make my quadriceps move. Nothing, okay? I had a long, hard, uh, extremely tough time. I always want to do it again. But oh, my God. See, the question is, over and over and over and over, God calls all this stuff to work together for good to them that love God, to those who are the call according to his purpose. Did he do that for me? Yes, he did. Thank you, Father. Shall I scheme out this stuff the way you think about stuff? Yes, sir. I had staph infection. All in all kinds of surgeries all over my body. Ran a temperature that was baking my brain. They were writing me off saying, he's going to die. They had me in ice. God had been talking to me. Oh, I was begging. Take me out of that ice. I was like freezing up, but I was baking inside. It was baking my brain. I had blood on my brain. My brain was swollen for about nearly three years. 
before it finally went down. Had in, uh, so, severe injuries all over. Are you going to give up? I can't. Now, through all this, I'm having all this physical therapy, speech, occupational therapy, and then, see, I was a bodybuilder before that. I lift the weights. Crazy. God had prepared me. I didn't have no idea it was coming. Oh, if I knew it was coming, I'd be like one chicken. I'd be saying, oh, no, I don't know what that. <laughs> if I knew what I had to go through, but uh, I'm thankful now. And it's it's continually all this stuff, but that you can see that. Okay? Now, just like that, whenever I come out and I, they finally, after so long, let me out of physical therapy on the grounds that I keep doing what I, all I was doing. I had my own workout gym. I was going to different places, over to college, over to another um, my professor had a had a gym called CC Power Plus at that time. It's it's no longer that building's been torn down and stuff. And schools built up there now. Um, but uh, where he'd go and lock the door and we'd work out after class. And uh, I mean, and I I I went in there with a cane and had people loading the machines and, and the the bench press and all kinds of stuff, and was lifting afterward. I did therapy like crazy. Now, in saying all that stuff, just as an example, I had to become, uh, in the natural, be able to know the difference between good pain and bad pain. Okay? I had to know or be able to acknowledge quickly what was good pain, just muscles burning and everything, and push through that as hard as I could. Or if it was a productive pain in the natural. Man, I give it uh, every stuff I had, everything. I went from I couldn't even I couldn't even bench press the the bar when I started back. It's after months. A physical therapy that was ah and here I'm before that I was in really I mean I was in good shape <laughs> okay now the bar was 45 pound Olympic bar and I couldn't hardly do that I I was I, I put my cane underneath the th I walked in first with one of them tripod canes <laughs> Put it underneath the underneath the bench, lay down, and my parents loaded on and off the weights on the gym. Some of my buddies over at the gym, they would load it all on and off as I as over time it increased, and I was able to do a little bit more. I couldn't. I was sick. I couldn't even hardly walk. <laughs> it's just crazy. I'm thankful. Oh my goodness. And uh, so I had to know. What was good pain and what was bad pain? Because bad pain, uh oh, I stopped quickly. That was sharp. That was no good. Stop back immediately. But if it was just hurting, oh man, I pushed like a nut. <laughs> Give her all I had. Okay? Doing all kinds of stuff, but I had to do it correctly. Okay? Now, um,. Now, in these storms of our lives, okay, um, we got like a spiritual therapy. We got to get in there and know when God's asking us, um, do you agree with me? Or do you give in and wish out to this, um, this fiery trials and this, this pains and stuff, this bitterness, this boiling water in your life? Are you going to be a wimp, big sissy, cry baby and not push it hard enough? Just like in that natural thing there. If I wouldn't push it hard enough, uh, what they was telling me was going to happen. Nursing home, not be able to do this, that, and that. Never, ever 
go back to doing any kind of work, public job, prob none, none of this stuff, being a nerd, do just all kinds of stuff. I mean, there's lots. I did, and I finally got to where I could work for a while. And I did it until I couldn't do it no more, and I had a heat stroke. And now I'm back in that same position, and they won't put me back on this building. <laughs> That's okay. I don't care. Well, I, I, I wish it helped me, but they won't. That's okay. It's just par for the course, okay? That's just more pressure, and I got to go through that. All right? Now, it's like God asking you, shall we cut it up this border? And this stuff's heated up. This pressure's and fire trials is putting lots of pressure on you in different areas of your thinking. Shall we cut it, chop it out? Spin, chop, spin, chop. Is it productive pain? Yes, sir, daddy. Amen. I agree. Yes, sir. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Chop that stuff out. I don't want it no more. Get emphatic. In other words, put a sock in that old dog's mouth telling you to quit. I'm not no quitter. In spite of what anybody else thinks. They look out and see a little bit of splitter over mine. They don't realize how big of a log it is. How big of an obstacle to overcome. Because I don't have to deal with it. But see, what they've got to deal with is strong and hard for them. Everybody's dealt. It rains on the just and the unjust. Okay, to be an overcomer, to bring that marble all the way through that individual thought process or little area of your thinking all the way through all this stuff, you got to go through it a lot and keep going, oh, 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 and let it, God, channel that down till you're inside that that um, pipeline back in. And that's why in God, resting in God and aligning yourself with God's right mindedness. And it's a long, hard road. And you got to know, when this is good pain, productive pain, it's just that pressing. <laughs> like a physical therapy, speech, and occupational therapy. That I was going through in the natural. If I pushed it good, it worked hard, consistently, habitually with this, it'll get better, and I'll get as much as I can get. Yeah, I may not be able to run and do all the stuff I did before. But I got back pretty good. A lot more than I ever thought. If I listened to the doctors and stuff, I'd be dead. I'd be gone, gone, gone. Right? Wouldn't be able to do nothing. Be dead. Okay? All right. So we need to say thank you. Be grateful with God. Grateful to God. See this? Like that four, that because, that gar. It's a conjunction. And it's a, it's a because, but it's also with a, it's a particle. It's like it's a strong. It doesn't easily fit into uh, the box of can't do it. No. Through Christ, in Christ, agreeing with God, agree, agree, agree. You can do a lot more than what God thinks. Well, what, 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 what you think? God, if you agree into God. It, it, it's God knows what you can do. He'll push you beyond anything that you think you could possibly handle. But there's always a way out. Always a way. He'll give the increase. It's just all this pressure stuff. Is to make you give up on the rely reliance, the resting and being the, in your own shit thinking. You're seeing here and taste that and smell with your own log in your eye. It's to get that log, that ego out of your eye. Give up on that crap and agree with God no matter what. And there's a lot of that in us. Each and every one of us. A lot in every area. It's like that black tarry glue stuff. It's all around the pixel. That faith, the seed of God. 
just transforming all that, chopping out and stuff. Man, it's rough. Even, you gotta agree, 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 exist, exist, exist. If it's good pain, then you get chopped. I'm melting that stuff out. Oh man, get that out. Now I'm like lifting weights and working out and all these different therapies and stuff. Whenever you do it, it's like a muscle, okay? You tear that thing down by exercises and stuff. Stre putting tension, weights and different things, working your heart and all this stuff. And then when you rest and eat proper nutrition and all these things, it builds back up to where it was at. And then a little bit beyond that. And then you do it again. And then you do it again, and you constantly, you're growing if you're in an anabolic state of muscle growth. Now, if you get in a catabolic state of muscle growth, you'll not make it all the way, or you'll not go up. You'll maybe go up there and just, you'll start plateauing and stagnating. You're, what you're doing is like like disagreeing with God or try, taking and not being in hot pursuit of God. See, but when you're like, just like when you're lifting weights or you're training, you're doing physical therapy, when you push and give in it, just like they say, no pain, no gain. But see, it's got to be good pain, productive, not destructive. You start feeling that sharp thing, stop immediately. That's not what you want. Okay. But whenever it's agree with God, agree with him, no matter how much it hurts. Press to it. Right? And God will give the increase. You'll get stronger. What will happen is just like that waiting. Those that wait upon the Lord, that's actively waiting. That When you agree, you get more strands of rope that's twisted into your rope. More. More. In between, it's like a little rest. Maybe you might get a little bit of eagling, which is like a oasis out in the desert when them Israelites were going around and around and around the mountain every once in a while they come to this oasis and they get a little rest period water and food and stuff and then right out back out in the desert again <clears throat> but you know it took them 40 years a long time what did it take Jesus it's tempted of that says the devil but it's like Diablos that false accuser trying to beat you down that's your carnal mind okay and that's like, good, satanos, and bad, evil. That's uh, that's uh, double off. <laughs> Try to take you off the will of God. Mm -mm. You know, that's bull crap. Okay? It's not a monster outside. You take responsibility for yourself. Work out your own salvation. Not in fear and trembling, but re reverence, honor, respect. Knowing that God is your exceeding great reward. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, daddy. Amen, amen, amen. This is just a negative electron experience I'm going through. Low hardship. Press, press, yeah! Don't give up. Right? You're in agreement with God. God be for you, who can be against you? So it's like that because, that gar. Okay? It's a conjunction. It's connecting you to God. It's it's a because and this is why. Right? Yes, 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 Father, because you say so. Because this is you. You are my exceeding reward. This is the because. The for, the the gar. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. See, hear intelligently with the intent. Not only the intent to obey, but just obey. Just obedience. Yes, sir, Father. I agree. So be it. Let's do it. Let's get it. Amen, amen, amen. Strong affirmation. Right? You're right. Yes, sir, Father. And all men are all this stuff. All these storms of life. Bam! This stuff does not control me. There's pressures, fire trials, all this stuff. There's ellipses, there's fire trials. Just like Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 
bow the knee to King Nebuchadnezzar and do what he wants. It's your own carnal mind. So that's representing your own carnal mind right now. Bow the knee to that old stuff. No. No. <laughs> Get out of me, old strong lizard, you beast nature. Burn that stuff out. Cry, chop it out. Father God, I agree with you. Do an about face to turn and mention the wheel. Change the way you think about that crap. Relying upon it, it ain't worth nothing. That's a big old poop hot dog. Ooh, yuck, I'm not eating that. Right? In March, shoot your arrows right back towards your efforts, right back towards God. Press it. Do physical therapy, speech therapy, occupational therapy. Going right back into God, no matter what. And it'll take you those marbles of your thinking. So you don't like losing your marbles because all these pressures and all these fire trials because they're well too rough for me. Yeah, for you. But fortunately, God is offering you a way out. Agree, agree, agree into him. And he'll pull you out. It's not by your might or nor your power, but it's by my spirit, says the Lord. Agree. Amen. Yes, sir, daddy. Let's get it. Let's get it. Yes, sir. Get emphatic with it. Your strength is what? In the Lord, not in yourself. Okay? Now, that's been uh, Spiritual Toolbox number 117. Love you. Thought I'd share that. And that was the next word in that verse.